Hello, and welcome to the weekly wrap up for this Friday, March 15th, 2024. Thank you for joining us. We always appreciate your time and attention. Uh, we've got a lot to cover, so let's dive right in. Uh, this week, we had interviews with our good uh, Hasidic brother, Eli Weber, uh, financial Christian advisor, Scott Thomas, and uh, yesterday, Joe Williams. We're currently editing that video. That should be out sometime today, I'm told by Chris, in the next couple of hours. He gives a really nice geopolitical breakdown of what's going on with the court cases with President Trump, Danny Willis, and uh, other anomalies that we covered. Uh, next week, we have uh, Ian Farrar for some updates on uh, how my parent products are working, reports that I've experienced, other uh, patriots that have used it and had success, and he's got some other uh, new information for their products that help uh, heal and cure a lot of other diseases to get us healthy uh, as we come into the wealth transfer. Uh, the great Holly Celiano will find out what great musings and information she has. And then, of course, later in next week, Rod Steele. Now, on to the headlines. Okay, gold is continuing to trend upward, as you all know. It eyed almost 2200 earlier this week, and silver almost plateauing at $25. Again, we're looking for a $25 to $30 price point for silver before we see that big breakout. Uh, JP Morgan is our, uh, targeting or eyeing the next target price of $2,500. El Salvador acts as income tax investments for uh, foreign countries coming in to do business with them from 30% to zero. They paid off their loan a while ago with the IMF using many mechanisms, including Bitcoin, and now they're really starting to move forward, which is great for that thriving nation. Venezuela, uh, this will be great for you Boulevard lovers. We're going to talk about that in a few minutes as well. Venezuela, Venezuela is enjoying relations with Russia as they are eyeing, eyeing a BRICS membership right alongside Nigeria. Somalia secures 99% debt cancellation from the Paris Club nations. Uh, there's many mechanisms for that, but I believe Jassara is one of them. Interesting sidebar, full moon is March 25th this year, and that's significant to us because we're looking for cryptos to hit their climax cycle right before the Bitcoin happening in April, where we're going to start seeing Bitcoin prices really changing uh, in the next month and in the next quarter. Uh, this is interesting. Dollar Tree, Family Dollar Stores, to close a thousand locations beginning yesterday, March 14th. So I'm sure some of you have already experienced that depending where you live. Uh, the TikTok ban could affect uh, other social media platforms, specifically uh, True Social and Rumble. And that's a part of the reason why we're creating Club Patriot, which is a free membership, by the way, uh, especially uh, if you reserve it now. Uh, Chris tells me as of this morning, the chat room is set to be finished sometime in the next week. So we encourage you to get into that as soon as you can. So you can start networking with other patriots, truthers, like-minded folks, creating solutions and ideas and, and just sharing good information as you tend to do. <clears throat> but uh, with the siege on the First Amendment, uh, if that were, God forbid, to happen, that would shut down our Rumble platform and many others. And so that's why we wanted to get ahead of it and create that channel. But that's what that uh, potentiality of the threat of TikTok going down means potentially for uh, other sites. <clears throat> and I also want to make a uh, an adjustment and a correction, some clarity. Uh, it's been brought to my attention. Some people were questioning the issue of Ramadan. So I want to make this clear. Yes, on the Islamic calendar, it does fall every nine months. But in the time I've been in this, particularly the last several years, they have been celebrating it in June. So that's a fact, okay? So it's not my opinion, that's what it's been. They've, they've, for whatever reason, chosen to celebrate it in June. But typically, it does happen every nine months on the Islamic calendar. Now, this year, it happens to be celebrated when it's supposed to be, which is March, April. I found it interesting because we're going into their new fiscal year in April, and you have Macron and Erdogan, which we have shown articles in Telegram to prove this, uh, are coming to Iraq to sign off on the gas law, oil and gas law, taxes reforms and all that. And then we have Sudani going sometime in April to D.C. to declare this along with the U.N. So this is the first time in many years that I can recall them celebrating Ramadan on this traditional time. So I want to be clear about that. Google does not tell you that they've been celebrating it typically in June. So if I was not clear on that, my apologies. It was certainly not intentional. Just telling you what my personal experiences have been in the last several years. So now that that's been taken care of, moving forward. Uh, the P Pittsburgh police breaking news story that we broke on Monday, along with others, uh, has been confirmed by local media uh, outlet sources in the area. If you go to our Telegram channel on Tuesday, we sourced those articles. 
We tried to post it up, by the way, on our YouTube channel, speaking of censorship, and they blocked it. So we attempted to put it up the same day. They would not allow it. So we have opted to put it on the Telegram channel, speaking of uh, censorship and incomplete uh, information. We wanted that clarified. So again, if you're not a Telegram member, we please invite, we would invite you to go to our channel and you can see all the copious articles we post on a daily basis. Those who are members already know this. I'm speaking to the ones who don't yet know it, but if you go back to Tuesday, the uh, Pittsburgh police articles, both of them have been reported where they're cutting back hours and certain uh, uh, calls that they're not responding to. Okay, now uh, getting to some honorable mentions, we're just kind of switching things up a little bit. I want to take a moment to acknowledge a couple of key people. There's a lot of great truthers out there, a lot of great reporters, no doubt. Uh, but we want to pay special homage to Ariel. Um, he's a good dude, and he puts out a lot of timely information, actually ahead of the curve and yet timely, to set us up to know what's going on. Um, had an opportunity to talk to him just on a chat on on X and True Social a while back, and, and he's a real stand-up guy, and he provides great information. We're real appreciative of his efforts. I um, also want to acknowledge on uh, our Rumble channel, uh, Patriot Miller 47 asked a really good, critically thinking, cogent question. Uh, she embodies the audience that we're really aspiring to, who's thoughtful, critically thinking, and gets ahead of the curve. And her question was about the boulevard, what denomination would we recommend uh, in terms of the digitales or the fuentes? After talking with the team and pondering it, two answers to that, and this is for all of you who are may be wondering the same thing, um, any denomination you get the boulevard is going to be great. But in terms of what might potentially be the highest returning nomination, we believe would be the Fuentes because it has the most zeros to come off. So um, all of them are good. But uh, to her question, Fuentes is what we at least determined would be the best bet as far as what her question was. So we really appreciate uh, her critical thinking and her cogent uh, uh, question. That was uh, very timely, as a matter of fact, with everything that we see cycling out. So. Uh, we we appreciate all of you. Don't get me wrong. That uh, was just a really great question that we don't get. It was very nice divergent question from the how much and when. So we appreciate that. Uh, we thank you for listening. That's all for today. If anything breaking comes out, of course, we'll let you know. Otherwise, we'll see you on next week's shows and the weekly wrap up. Take care. God bless. Have a great weekend.